What is going on, everyone? Welcome back in to Behind the Arc Basketball on YouTube, and today I'm going to talk about 10 college basketball players who will be returning next season. All 10 of these players scored 40 or more points from this past college basketball season. So the 2018-2019 college basketball season had 56 separate occurrences in which a player went off by scoring 40 or more points in a game. These 56 times were highlighted by 44 different scores who scored 40-plus points. There were 7 players who reached that 40 or more point mark more than once. Those seven 40-plus game scores from this past season were, in order, Chris Clemens of the Campbell Fighting Camels. He reached the 40-plus point mark four times throughout the course of last season. Marcus Howard and Marquette reached that 40-plus point mark three times. Same as Justin Wright Foreman of Hofstra. Carson Edwards of Purdue, he reached that 40-plus point mark three times as well. Mike Dom of South Dakota State reached that 40 or more point mark twice throughout the course of last season. Same as Martavius McKnight of Arkansas Pine Bluff and Antoine Davis of Detroit Mercy reached that 40-plus point mark twice. Also, the 2018-2019 college basketball season featured the highest single game score from this past season, which was Cameron Young, a senior from Quinnipiac University. He dropped 55 points in a triple overtime win against Siena. So most of these players' names that I just said were either seniors or they announced that they'll be entering the NBA draft come June. So only 13 of these players will be back to play college basketball sometime again in their life out of the 40-plus point club. Ten of these players will be back on the court next season, while three other players will transfer, and they'll be eligible for the 2020-2021 season. So in this video, I'm going to preview ten college basketball players who will be returning next season. All ten of these players scored 40 or more points in a game from this past season. Let's count them down here from 10 to 1 on the countdown. This countdown is not based on player rank and skill and ability. It is based off the highest point total that these players scored in a single game from this past season. Number 10 is Matt Lewis, sophomore guard of the James Madison Dukes. Matt Lewis scored 40 points in a 104-99 overtime win against Hofstra. Matt Lewis had a game-tying three-point shot at the buzzer to send the game into overtime, and he had a four-point play in the extra session to make his team get the W. Number 9 is Jacob Davison, sophomore guard of the Eastern Washington Eagles. Jacob Davison scored 41 points in a 84-64 victory over Northern Arizona. Davison shot 7 for 12 from three-point range during his career game for that game. He was named the Big Sky Conference Player of the Week for February 5th. 2019. Number 8 is one of my favorite players in all of college basketball, one of my favorite teams in all of college basketball since I'm from the area. Sophomore guard from the Rhode Island Rams. Clocks in at number 8 here. It's Fats Russell. Fats Russell scored 41 points in an overtime 86-85 win against St. Joseph's in A-10 play. Fats Russell, one of the favorite names in all of college basketball. Fats Russell became the first ever player for the Rhode Island Rams in the history of of Rhode Island to score 41 points in a road game. In the game against St. Joe's, Fats Russell scored a final 19 points for Rhode Island. None of those points came in OT. He also hit the game-tying shot with five seconds left to force overtime. Number seven is Terry Taylor, sophomore guard of the Austin P. Governors. Taylor scored 42 points in a 73-70 victory against Moorhead State. Taylor not only reached one career record during that game, but two. He also had a career 18 rebounds in that game to go along with his career-high 42 points. Terry Taylor converted on 15 shots out of 28 attempts from the floor during that game. Number 6 is Grant Willer, junior guard of the Charleston Cougars. Grant Riller scored 43 points in the 99-95 loss to Hofstra. Riller was named Colonial Athletic Association's Player of the Week for February 19th, 2019. This is after he scored 43 points in that game, and he followed that up back-to-back -back games. After that one, he scored a 33-point game, so it was 43 and 33 in back-to-back -back games for Grant Riller. Number five and number four clocking in here are both teammates. Teammates at UTSA. That is the University of Texas San Antonio, the Roadrunners. Number five is Keaton Wallace. And number four is Javon Jackson. Both of these players are sophomore guards for the University of Texas San Antonio. Keaton Wallace went off for 45 points in a 116-106 victory against Marshall in overtime. This 45-point performance was one game following Javon Jackson of the same team as teammate of UTSA. Javon Jackson scored 46 points in a 96-88 overtime loss against Western Kentucky. 
Number three is Antoine Davis, freshman guard of the Detroit Mercy Titans. Antoine Davis for Detroit Mercy reached that 40 or more point mark twice throughout the course of the season. He scored 42 points against Loyola, Maryland. He also scored 48 points against Wright State. Antoine Davis finished third in all college basketball in points scored per game. He did this while being a freshman. He averaged this past season 26.1 points per game from this past season. And also, Antoine Davis set an NCAA record, guys, from this past season. He broke the freshman three-point record, which was previously set by Steph Curry at Davison College when he was a freshman. Antoine Davis, as a freshman, broke Steph Curry's freshman record of 122 three-pointers made 12 years ago. Antoine Davis broke that record by 10 three-point shots made, and he... Finished the season with 132 three-point shots made as a freshman to end his first season at Detroit Mercy. Number two here for most points scored that will be returning for next season is Marcus Howard, junior guard in the Marquette Golden Eagles. As Marcus Howard reached a 40 or more point mark three times throughout the course of this past season, he scored 45 points twice versus two NCAA tournament teams. Those teams were Kansas State and Buffalo. But his career high game came in Big East play. It was a 53-point performance against the Creighton Blue Jays. This was a thrilling 106-104 overtime victory that Marquette got in this game. Marcus Howard, he announced over two weeks ago that he'll be returning back to the Golden Eagles. He was named Big East Player of the Year. He averaged 25 points per game from this past season, which ranked 6th in all college basketball. And here we are, what you've been rating for. The number one player returning with the most points scored from this past season. That is, number one is Jordan Lyons, junior guard of the Furman Paladins. Jordan Lyons dropped 54 points. That is 54 points. He set that NCAA record tied with two other players for the most three-pointers made in the game. Jordan Lyons made 15 three-point shots in that game that he scored 54 points. The ironic thing was that Jordan Lyons tied the NCAA record one day after Josh Williams converted on 15 three-point shots for Robert Morris to tie that record. That record was originally set back in 1996. So that's it, guys. That's a wrap of my video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't done so already, make sure to hit that like button down below and the subscribe button as well. I should be back later this week with NBA playoff action, doing some more play-by-play -play for you guys at NBA playoff action. And then I'll be back with the college basketball stuff when the college basketball season comes back together in early November, doing play-by-play -play of that. But follow me here with the NBA playoffs. I should be back at the end of this week as this has been another presentation of Behind the Arc Basketball on YouTube, the rundown of 10 college basketball players who will be returning back next season. All these players scored 40 or more points in a game from this past season. Thanks so much, guys, for watching.